All right, we've got a little, little visitor here today at Rumble Seat Southwest. This here is a 1960 Les Paul Standard, which was ordered in 1959 by a gentleman who could not afford a Les Paul Custom. So he said, hey buddy, can you paint me a black standard? And they said, sure, let's go grab a flamey burst off the rack and we'll just spray over it. So that's what they did. And then they took their little ink stamp and they put their 1960 number over their 1959 number. And I don't know if we can see this on here, but you see the cherry red bleeding through on the serial number. And, uh, that's kind of crazy. It's bleeding through in the binding all around. And I don't know if you can get the reflection, but if you get just the right reflection, you'll see a super flamey top, which hopefully no one will ever actually see. And that's the story. The poor guy couldn't afford a custom and uh, he couldn't afford a hard case. So he got a junior alligator case for like $12 and Lo and behold, here it is. And uh, this guitar is what I would coin as the black burst. There are other black standards, but this one is painted over a real burst underneath. And uh, I know the current owner of this instrument has named it Lucky because he's very lucky to have found it after searching for it for quite a few years after a previous encounter with it. So we're glad to have it visiting and hanging out. And We've been playing it on tour. Joe Bonamassa has been using it nightly. So these things don't just sit in a glass case. This stuff gets rocked out. So for anybody who says that only doctors and lawyers and shit have these, they're wrong. We have them out on the road and we like to rock on them. And you know, we're just careful with them. And if they get a little, uh, little love and battle scars, well, that's part of the history. So there you have the Black Burst, 1960 standard hanging out at Rumble Seat Southwest. Where else would you find one of these? And it's not for sale. <laughs>